Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is Site Acceptance Testing, or SAT. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Check out the status bar below for our agenda and stick around to the end for the bonus questions. Our topic, Site Acceptance Testing, or SAT, is covered by 1345 Section 7.5.6. Site Acceptance Testing in five words. Your Site Equipment Functional Testing. If your validation process includes a factory acceptance test or testing of the new equipment at the supplier site, there may be deviations during that factory acceptance test during the FAT. You want to make sure that that supplier fixes or addresses all of those deviations before the equipment is sent to your site. Now, they fixed it, the equipment is sent. When that equipment arrives, it's a good idea to do some incoming inspection on the equipment. The incoming inspection activities will confirm that there was no damage to the equipment during shipment, but it'll also confirm that all of those deviations during the original FAT have been addressed. This is where SAT, or Site Acceptance Testing, comes in. It's incoming inspection for our new piece of equipment or our new process. And at this point, we will write a SAT protocol we will have an SAT report summarizing the results. The SAT itself will confirm that there was no damage to the equipment during shipping and that all deviations found during the FAT have been addressed. At this point, we are safe to move on and do our IQ, our OQ, and our PQ. In the medical device area, I haven't seen SAT used very often. Actually, I've never seen it used, but it is a common practice within the pharmaceutical industry. So how do I know this is working? Well, for complex pieces of equipment or custom pieces of equipment, I do incoming inspection, I do a site acceptance test, and I identify any safety or performance issues before I start my validation. Second, if I have an SAT, the documentation, protocols and reports, they are part of my overall validation package. And then finally, any deviations found during SAT, they are addressed and fixed and then confirmed within my IQ. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, I have a complex piece of equipment or a custom piece of equipment, and I do no incoming inspection on it. Second, I have failures in my IQ for things that were found either do during FAT or could have been found during our SAT that requires me to do a new IQ later on. And then finally, the documentation for my SAT, my site acceptance test, it's not included in my validation packet. And now for the three bonus questions. Does our validation process include SAT? If it does, when would we do one? Second, do we have any forms and templates for SAT? And then finally, can you show me the last SAT that we've done? Which process was it for? When was the validation completed? Can I get the whole package? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.